What is going on everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Tuesday and it is time for part four of the Bowman Hobby Rip. We got six packs left. These last six packs. We haven't pulled an auto and today should be that day. Hi there. I'm Craig Michelson, and I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. All right, everybody. It is time to rip open the last of this hobby box. Six packs right here. Six packs are going to be opened up today. The last six packs of the Bowman Hobby Box that I picked up on tops.com. Um, it's been okay. I'm not gonna say it's been like, oh my God, it's been it's been okay. So, but today should be a, oh my God, hopefully day, right? I hope so. Do you hope so? That'd be great for all of us. You see me pull an awesome hit. Hopefully you're able to get some. Uh, like I said, I've got, uh, yesterday I've got five blasters that just showed up. Uh, I've got three megas on the way and some fat packs, which I'll open those uh, sporadically, especially considering the fact that getting retail is gonna be a lot harder as uh, we all know. And did some pre-orders on some hobby boxes, so get that stuff eventually as well too. But are you ready to open these? You're not, why dude, you've been watching this. Okay, you're okay. Well, while you get ready, you should click that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. Click all those. Follow me after you're done watching this. Follow me on those bad boys down there the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Follow me on all those. And then you can watch the, the replays of this or you can watch the hits that I get from this. Yeah. So, okay, you're ready now. Great. That's great. All right. So, here we go Bowman Hobby, last quadrant, part four of the Hobby Box Rip. Six packs of 10 cards. Heston Kierstad and Casey Mize, those are our cover boys. So let's get just, let's get to rocking. Pack number one. This is the top pack. That means anything? Highly doubtful. But anyway, top pack. Pack number one. Bowman 21. Let's go. All right. We have got ourselves Brian Anderson, third baseman for the Marlins. If you've seen this, any of the any of the base vets, even a Mike Trout, even a Lou Bob, who was injured, but any of those guys, they just go in the base pile for right now because I break it up into base, uh, prospect, prospect hit, first Bowman, and rookies. Yeah, okay, I I know it's pathetic. Anyway, here we go. Brian Anderson going into the base pile. Bryce Harper, who is going into my PC, but you're going into the base pile there, buddy. Yeah, it's nice to see Bryce is actually kind of back too. Yadier Molina for the Cardinals. The veteran catcher should be Hall of Famer when he retires. And Frankie Lindor for them, the Indians, what we all know now, the Mets. Let's skip to the back and pull ourselves a first bowman of Jeremy De La Rosa for the Nationals. First bowmans have been pretty sporadic in this hobby box, but it's pretty sporadic in the entire series. You're talking only 25, it looks like, first bowmans that are in this, so. Good luck getting them all, like a Pokemon. And then Aaron Sabato, there's a first Bowman hit. Um, is he a hit in my eyes? Honestly, no, he's a hit in the hobby's eyes. He gives me Bob Hamlin vibes. You don't know who Bob Hamlin is? Hamlin is, just Google him. Uh, Steve Balboni, guys like that, where they were power hitters. They struck out a lot too, but there's something about this guy, he just gives me that vibe. Am I right? No, I'm not at all, but there's something. Anyway, Aaron Sabata. Yes, that is a hit for now. Jorge, oh no, Jorge, Jose Salas. Shortstop for the Marlins, a first Bowman for him as well. So there we go. I've done pretty good on the first pack here. Jose Salas for the Marlins. And then let's skip to our back. We've got our Chrome, first Chrome. It is not uh, any first, it's just basic Chrome. It is. El Hiores Monturo, third baseman for the Cardinals. No longer, he's now the third baseman for the Rockies. I don't know where he's at in the organization, but he was traded uh, for Nolan Arenado. The Cardinals have a grip of third baseman. He was one of them. And then we have our next Chrome is going to be Heston Kierstad. Uh, not his first, it's a nice kit. I'm gonna put him in the prospect hit pile. 
he his first was he was number two overall out of Arkansas and the Orioles picked him up a solid outfielder um, yeah so you're gonna go into the prospect hit pile and then our last card is in 91 Bowman it's gonna be a Lou Bob Lewis Luis Robert who is come on we all know Luis Robert here in the hobby he's out for a little bit but Luis Robert that's insert hit with a couple little dents on it too. A couple little printing dents. Yeah. Back number two. Bowman Hobby, part four. Let's go. Okay, we got ourselves JD Martinez, normally going in the PC pile, but you're going into the base for right now. I'll pull you out later, buddy. Austin Hayes for the Orioles. Honestly, don't know much about this guy. I don't know much about many Orioles, except for like Adley Rutschman. And then Evan White, rookie card for the Mariners, Gold Glover. Um, and that's about all he can do right now. I mean, the guy is not even hitting his weight. Um, just, just learn to hit, bud. You've got a great spot there in Seattle. They'll probably ditch your ass soon enough because they got some young talent coming up. And I know they signed you that big long-term contract um, as a rookie who didn't even play in the majors yet. But better get that back going, Evan. I'm not a Mariners fan. I'm telling you that. Then Leody Tavares, outfielder for the Rangers, rookie card for the Rangers. Let's go to the back. We have ourselves Michael Toglia for the Rockies. Wearing his uh, gator right there. You see, there's his little gator uh, to help. You know the COVID, uh, the COVID-19 uh, protocols. Yeah, there we go. Michael Toglia, Toglia going into the uh, basic prospect pile. Spencer Torkelson, there we go. Uh, pulled his chrome on part two. Uh, nice to get a base version of him. Uh, don't have any of his first cards, which is one thing I'm uh, high on, but he's not hitting too hot right now once the minor league uh, season started, but come on, it's his first pro at bats because he only got to play last year in the uh, extended spring training uh, you know, camps that they were doing. So yeah, Spencer Torkelson, number one overall. Then Anthony Volpe, shortstop for the Yankees. Uh, he was his first Bowman was last year in the base uh, in the 2020 uh, uh, set. Big prospect for the Yankees. I throw him into the prospect hit pile, even though I don't care for the Yankees. And then our first Chrome is going to be Simeon Woods Richardson, pitcher for the Blue Jays. Sorry, crickets, um, but you're probably pretty good. And our next Bowman is going to be hmm, George Kirby, pitcher. So I'm. this has been a great pack so far. George Kirby for the Mariners. And our next is a futurist, I believe, futurist, CJ Abrams. Just I could tell because it's Padres and he's part of the future. CJ Abrams, you're gonna go into the insert pile there. CJ Abrams, a Saul player. Pack number three. By the way, C.J. Abrams is like 20 years old in the double-A. I think he's the youngest player in double-A, so yeah. Pack number three, Bowman 2021 Hobby Box, part four, let's go. Okay. Okay, Jazz Chisholm, rookie card for the Marlins. One of the front runners for rookie of the year. I know he just got back uh, from a slight little injury. Uh, him and Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson's my my guy, but Jazz Chisholm definitely is playing well and he deserves a rookie card. Casey Mize for the Tigers, rookie pitcher. Uh, number one overall, I want to say in 2017, or was he 18? I don't know, but yeah. Casey Mize out of Auburn. Davey Garcia, uh, Yankees rookie. He's built like Pedro Martinez. Will he throw like Pedro? As a Sox fan, I hope not. Then Jake Cronworth for the Padres. Solid utility guy. Just a heads up if you didn't know. Uh, Jake is probably, I think he's like 27 years old. Awesome for him, but for the hobby, that's a death bell. So just a heads up. You pull Cronworth, awesome. Unless you're a Cronworth fan or a Padres fan, just a heads up on that, because we all know 27 year old rookies really don't uh, translate too well into the hobby world. Scoot to the back. Daniel Lynch, uh, prospect pitcher for the Royals. Cody uh, Jose, Jose, third baseman for the Dodgers. I'll throw you into the prospect pile there. You'll be put into the PC later, bud. 
And then uh, Freddy Zamora, shortstop. He was drafted last year, I want to say, by the Brewers uh, out of Miami. I know because I pulled his card out of the Prism Draft uh, box I opened about two weeks ago. So there you go, Freddy Zamora for the Brewers. And then we have ourselves. Our first is going. First Chrome is going to be not a first. Uh, Taryn Vavra, shortstop for the Rockies. I don't know who he is. And our next Chrome is going to be another, not a first. This is uh, Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie Marciano for the Mets, the shortstop. So with Frankie Lindor there, he's signed long term. I don't know what they're going to do with guys like this who are like top prospects. They're probably just going to have to trade him for uh, pitching or for, uh, you know, outfield help. Who knows? But Ronnie Marciano going into the prospect hit pile. And our last card is a Bowman Scouts Top 100 Rookie card of Michael Kopech. No, Garrett Crochet. Why am I thinking Michael Kopech? His rookie was two years ago. Garrett Crochet, number 99 of the Tops 100. So, yeah, you're going into the inserts there, buddy. We got three packs left, and we still have not pulled that auto. Pack number three, four, four of the 20, 21 Bowman. Bobby Bob, let's go. Okay, no clue still. <laughs> Luis Camposano, catcher for the Padres, rookie card. Ronald Acuna for the Braves. Uh, do I, I don't need to say anything. We all know he's good. Shane Bieber, the Cy Young Award winner last year for the Indians. Christian Yelich, who is healthy, then he's not. Then he's healthy, then he's not. He's a great player. He just needs to stay on the field. Christian Yelich. And then Sean Murphy, who, catcher for the A's. Great player for a catcher, um, but it's one of those things where, same thing like uh, Cronenworth, he's older than you think. So yeah, let's go to our back and pull ourselves. Andrew Dahlquist, uh, prospect pitcher for the White Sox. Vidal Brujan, uh, prospect for the Blue, uh, for the Blue Jays, for the, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, this guy's, he'll be up in the bigs pretty soon. He's playing second base down in Durham, and I think he has like six home runs on the year right now. Um, the guy's playing his way into the majors. So Vidal Brujan, you're going to the prospect hits. Hunter Bishop, outfielder for the Giants. And we'll go to, we only have two here. We got our first chrome is going to be Matt Manning, pitcher for the Tigers. I throw him into the hits because he's 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 next in line for the great Detroit's got some great pitchers coming up, so good for you, Detroit. You need it. And our last is going to be Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. for that's a prospect hit too. He's not hitting too hot right now, but come on, he I think he got a lot of his hits out in spring training. So Bobby Witt Jr. is our prospect chrome hit. It's getting scary. Two packs left, here you go. Pack number five of the Bowman Hobby Box. Go. Kyle Lewis, going into the PC, but right now you're going into the base. Uh, when I got back into the hobby, Kyle Lewis is just a guy I resonated with, so I'm like, I'm gonna collect this guy. And yeah, Kyle Lewis, back, finally playing again. He was on the injured list to start the year. Max Scherzer, Cy Young Award winner and potential Hall of Famer for the Nationals. Yeah, he's gonna make the Hall of Famer. Chris Bryant, third baseman for the Cubs. It'll be interesting to see if they keep him. He's having actually a solid year, but the Cubs right now are meh. Um, yeah, I think they can get a lot for him to reboot that whole franchise, so Chris Bryant. And then Anthony Santander for the Orioles. The thing with a lot of the Oriole guys, I don't know who any of them are. I got back into the hobby and I was like, who the hell are these guys? This guy here is dead. I knew a couple of them, but that's the one team I just don't track. And I, Anthony Santander, never heard of him until I got back into the hobby. And we'll go to the back. We have ourselves Tyler Soderstrom for the A's, their first round pick, a catcher. Um, he's a big deal. So I can throw in you in the prospect pile. His first card was last year in the Bowman draft. There's another Adley Rutschman. You've seen my episodes and shows before, you realize that Adley Rutschman, his dad, Randy, uh, threw, threw batting practice to me when I was in uh, high school. Well, actually, I was like in 10th grade, I think. And um, tried to teach me how to hit a curveball. Didn't work. 
I still can't hit a curveball. I can hit a fastball. Actually, I can hit a changeup. It looks like a fastball. Yeah, that's what I can hit. Adley Rutschman, from my uh, next town over. He's going into the prospect hit pile. Justin Foscue, first round pick by the Rangers last year, going into the prospect hits. Then we'll go to our back. We have our first card. It's going to be that Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman, third base prospect for the Cardinals. You heard my deal on the third baseman for the Cardinals. It'll be interesting to see what they do with him because with Arenado locked up, he might be trade bait. I don't know if he's gonna move to first. You got, uh, you got uh, what's it about, Goldschmidt over there. So, prospect hit, but I don't know where you're gonna land. And the last card, not the last card, the next card is going to be Hunter Green for the Reds. There's good old Mr. Hunter Green. Uh, shot video of him uh, pitching for Harvard Westlake. You no, know, why do I say Harvard Westlake? That's the school he wanted to go to for Sherman Oaks Notre Dame. Uh, the guy, number two overall in the uh, 27, was it 2017? Wow, I thought it was 2018. In the 2017 draft, and the guy's legit. Um, flamethrower. He's he's going to be up in AAA probably pretty soon. The guy's throwing gas right now and just dominant on the mound uh, in the minor league season. There you go. Some A little bit of highlights of Hunter pitching in high school. You're going in the prospect hit pile. And our last card is Joe Adele with the Rookie of the Year favorites, who is now down in AAA. He's hitting the ball well, he's just striking out a bit. So you need to get those strikeouts cleared up, Joe. But you'll be back in the bigs, just kind of get those strikeouts cleared up. So we got last pack, so we should have an autograph here. If not, Tops, Tops, I'm coming for you. Last pack here, Bowman 2021. Let's go. Okay, we got a purple, so that might be the autograph. Bobby Dahlbeck, rookie card for the Red Sox. Finally hitting the ball, which is great, but Bobby Dingers. Going in my PC pile, but now he's just going in the rookie pile, but Bobby Dingers. A little older, by the way, but I like Bobby. Christian Pache for the Braves. All glove, no bat. But get your time in order. He's still young. He's like 20 years old. So Christian Pache definitely can have a uh, future in the hall in uh, in baseball with the Braves. But he's just got to hit. And you don't need to be hitting 300, bud. You can just hit 270. Just do your job in center field. Kiebert Ruiz normally would go into the PC, but you heard my story. He's going to go to the rookies right now. But he just got called up and sent back down. But Dodgers are loaded at catching. So. Luis Patino, pitcher for the Padres, no longer the Padres, now the D-Rays, D-Rays, double Rays, now for the Rays. Uh, legit pitcher, uh, looks like he's gonna be joining their starting rotation here soon. Scoot to the back, we have ourselves, Gerald Perdomo, shortstop for the Diamondbacks. Uh, prospect, don't know much about him, sorry. Jonathan India, gonna go into the prospect hit pile, but now he's in the big leagues playing second base for the Reds. Bobby Miller, first round pick for the Dodgers last year. Uh, this is his prospect card, so if you are a Dodger fan and you wanted his first card, it's not going to be in this set. Then we get our first chrome. It's going to be, is that Ramos? Helio Ramos, outfielder for the Giants. He's one to look out for. The Giants, I hate, again, I use the word hate, I don't hate the Giants. Um, I just don't care for them. But he's a great young player. The Giants have got some solid young players coming up, and he's one of the reasons why. Him and uh, Marco Luciano. So pitching, he eh, could use a little bit of help, but he'll hit Ramos. He'll be in the big soon. Uh, prospect card. Our next card is going to be is that Austin Wells. Austin Wells, catcher for the Yankees. Their number one uh, pick last year. So this would be his second Bowman, technically. Prospect hit. And our last card, probably our auto. Purple first, it's a pitcher. Ugh. For the Red Sox, at least, there's a PC hit. Jeremy Wu Yelland, number 65 out of 250. So there's our auto. Who would have thunk the very last pack of the very last rip would be our auto. But Jeremy Wu Yelland. Mm. 
Not a hitter. Not the first Bowman Red Sox you want either. Blaze Jordan. I didn't pull any Blazes in here, by the way. No Blaze Jordan pulled on the chrome or even paper in this entire box. So yeah, he uh, his first uh, Red Sox fourth round 2020, so he is a recent pick uh, out of well, the Northwest. And he, uh, University of Hawaii. Yeah, went, uh, wow. Four and eight overall at the University of Hawaii with an ERA of four, six, seven. What the hell, man, this, oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good on you getting drafted. At least it's a nice autograph, I'll say that. So, there you go. There's part four, the last part, last rip of the Bowman 2021 Hobby Box. Um, gonna be honest with you. It, uh, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. Um, our first Bowmans, we only got three. Sabata was the only name you would see. Uh, Sabata. Uh, Jeremy De La Rosa for the outfield, uh, and Jose Salas for the Marlins. Those are your only first Bowmans we got. For uh, the prospects that I pulled that I like, that I like, that is, Helio, Helio Ramos, not a big deal, but he will be soon enough. Um, Hunter Green I like, Nolan Gorman I like, Adley, that's just for, yeah, for my own selfish reasons, just because, you know, again, it's a small town vibe thing uh bobby witt jr um we all know but this is not his first is like his third bowman card but bobby witt um yeah heston kierstad for the chrome uh, our rookies we pulled we pulled some okay rookies you know again we pulled the uh pache which is great we pulled the bobby doll back which for me is great um Casey Mize, uh, which is, you know, he's he's a good one. Our inserts, I'd say uh, the C.J. Abrams Futurist and the Joe Adele uh, Rookie of the Year. Capped by our one autograph, our offering of Jeremy Wu Yelland. So I'm not too high on this. How tall is he? 6'2", 210. Ooh, not a hitter, a left-handed pitcher who was drafted in the fourth round, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you have a great career, Jeremy, and I hope you win some Cy Youngs. I hope you end up being the next great lefty for the Red Sox, but, yeah. Thank you so much for watching Rippin' Packs in this final Hobby Box rip. Again, like I mentioned, I got a mega box, mega boxes, and some uh, blasters and some fat packs. We'll open those. The likelihood of getting a big auto hit out of those is pretty slim, but you never know. So, thank you again for watching Rip Packs. Um, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And smash that notification bell while you're at it. And follow me on those things over there. Yeah, follow me those. And you'll see the hits, the three or four hits from this. Actually, maybe a little bit more, but yeah. So thank you for watching Rip Packs, and I will see you tomorrow on What the F Wednesday. Take care.